This one's on speed time distance. Interesting question. The speed of a cyclist uphill is 10 kilometers per hour and downhill is 15 kilometers per hour and on level plane is 12 kilometers per hour. Consider the following diagram. It takes 6 hours for the cyclist to go from A to C and 5 hours to go back to A. So he's traveling up here and up here and flat there. It takes him 6 hours. Flat here and downhill here. It will take him 5 hours. Uphill speed is 10 kilometers per hour. Downhill speed is 15 kilometers per hour. This is same on both directions, 12 kilometers per hour. Simple question. Once you get the diagram and realize that one way is uphill, other way is downhill. It's a very solvable question. I'm going to write down the equations and solve it. And then see if we can solve it in a slightly quicker fashion, much quicker fashion. Right? The equation way of doing it is AB by 10 plus BC by 12 is 6. This is 10 kilometers per hour going uphill. So distance AB by 10, 10 kilometers per hour. This is 12 kilometers per hour plus BC by 12 is 6. BC by 12 plus AB by 15 is 5. That's all we need to do. Now, I'm going to do it slightly differently. Forget about this equation forming thing. Right? The difference in time comes from this leg. That much we know. This time is same. I'm going to say time taken here is x hours. And difference here, the ratios of the speeds is 2 is to 3. Ratio of time should also be 2 is to 3. Time taken should be 2k and 3k. And the difference is 1k. The difference between time taken to go uphill and downhill is 1 hour. Or this k is equal to 1 hour. Or to go uphill it takes 3 hours. To go downhill, it takes 2 hours. Or this leg takes 3 hours. This leg takes 2 hours. Accounting for the difference of 1 hour. This is 3 hours. Total time taken is 6 hours. This should be 3 hours. So how long did the cyclist travel on plane BC? This is 3 hours. Ratio of speeds will be reciprocal of ratio of time. So if traveling the same distance, if you travel at 10 kilometers per hour or 15 kilometers per hour, speeds are in the ratio 2 is to 3, times will be in the ratio 3 is to 2. Very simple idea. For the same distance, ratio of speed and ratio of times will be reciprocal of each other. All we need to do is pick that. The time taken to travel BC is going to be same up and down. Only for AB it will change. Once you know the ratio, you get directly to the answer. See other way of solving it rather than doing it algebraically.